health is a huge area, just the impact that it has on people. Um, and there's really settled science, right? It's not like politics where maybe we expect politicians to bend the truth a little on occasion. In health, there really is settled science and uh, some of the misinformation that we're seeing online has big effects. Um, and more than half the world's population now is online, but less than half the world's population actually has access to medical uh, care, primary care. And so more and more people are turning uh, to the internet. So we have a mandate to work in um, about 16 or 17 different countries around the world and, and India is one of them. And one of the things that stood out to us about Health Analytics Asia's proposal is how from the get-go they proposed to work with, um, news or with organizations outside of news to work with people other than journalists to tackle the challenge of health misinformation. On behalf of Google and First Draft and the IFCN at Pointer and Health Analytics and <laughs> Conrad Adenauer Stiftung. On behalf of a lot of different organizations, it is uh, my great pleasure to welcome you to the Google office and to the APAC Trusted Media Summit. While misinformation on politics and on election threatens our democracy. Misinformation on health threatens lives and costs life. Why is it that one particular issue surfaces on internet again and again, again and again, and millions of people like it, share it, though it is a fake story? First time ever in the history our capacity, our capacity as a human being to consume information is suppressed by the information which is being produced. So we're not able even to consume in a new.